Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here today with a happy mail video and I will make it a quick one because it's only focused on one item. I know I've heard other YouTube artists say how everybody groans when it's a happy mail video, but I think that when someone takes the time to do something nice for you, that you should do something in kind for them. So this is my in kind for this person here. Um, I saw her today in a live video and never mentioned that I had this because I did not want to tip her off to what I was doing. She has gone to bed and when she wakes up in the morning, I want her to see the video and to know that I've been keeping a secret for three days now, <laughs> which was just about to kill me. All right, so let me get you a little closer. I did put a post-it note over my address and also her address. This came in the mail. Um, this is my very first YouTube happy mail item. I don't get a lot of happy mail because I don't really need anything. I have plenty of money to buy things that I need. I get happy mail from my friends. We swap a lot of stuff amongst ourselves and that's all fine and good. But this is something that came from someone that I don't know very well, although I find her very delightful in her posts and her pictures and the things that she makes, but I don't know her very well. Um, but what I've seen so far of her makes me want to get to know her more. And yes, that's before I got this. <laughs> so this came from across the pond, which means it came from the UK. And I have only gotten mail from the UK one other time, and that was in a pocket letter swap. So I feel very fortunate to get mail from another country. It's so thrilling because their postage and their, their envelopes and things are so different than ours. And it's, it's something cool because it's something different. Um, she did painty papers down the side. Painty paper. I think it's a painty paper down the side. I don't think it's embossed, but I think it's painty paper. And then she took whatever was left over and then stuck that on the back too, which looks very cool. I love it. Just love it. She has the most wonderful handwriting too. And I know you can't see it because I've got it covered up, but take my word for it. She has beautiful handwriting. All right. So this is what came in the mail. And yes, I opened it already because I am not one to wait. <laughs> this is a note from my friend. Facebook friend and um, small book enthusiast friend, Debbie Cork from the UK. She wrote a note on here why she sent it. And she wrote a note on the back side of it to tell me that the paper made her think of me, of the Zentangle squash book, which she loved, and that she's going to make one, that she's already started one. So I am tickle pink and I cannot wait for that video. And it would be lovely if she would talk in her video so I can hear her voice. Okay, so here we go. I don't want to tip off my hand yet for what's in there. But how cool is this paper? You look at this. Isn't that fabulous? That's, that's not someone's hand drawing. That is um, printed paper. That's very cool. I so like this. So like it. Thank you, Debbie. You know what? You're going to see this again on something, either as a book cover or a page or something. I can't, I can't let that go without doing something special to it. So thank you very much. This is awesome paper. All right, the next thing is she sent me a squash book. This squash book is... Oh, you can't see it, sorry. Oops, the little red hen. And what cracks me up about this on the side is that just from the videos that I've done about the squash books <laughs> or the accordion books, she knows me all too well because I like the things on the side here so that when I put them into the bookcase, either this way or lay it down flat, I can see what it is and reach for the book quickly and not have to look at them all accordion style folded up and not know what it is that I'm grabbing. This is very cool. And look at that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So here is the squash book of the little red hen. 
Debbie was talking on in Art Experiments, um, Cage Fish's um, Facebook page group about how she had been to a car boot sale. For those of you who don't know a car boot sale, it's um, it's sort of like American yard sales, except for they really do it out of the trunk of their cars. And they call the trunk of their car a boot, so it's a boot sale. Um, so these are all pictures that are cut out of the children's book, The Little Red Hen. And this is the, I think this is probably the, the smallest squash butt that you can make. I'm not really sure if you can do it with two. I suppose you could, but three seems to be the best the best one. So these are three of the squares that are glued together. And then the pictures are cut out of the children's book. And when you flip it over, she learned from my mistake, all her pictures are pointing the right direction. <laughs> and something else that I noticed is that she put two different things on some of the diagonal pages that don't, that aren't the same. They're not part of the same photo. Never occurred to me to do that. What a simple idea, and I never even thought of it. But I love it. She made covers. She signed her work. And it's awesome. And I just want to tell you, Debbie, how much I appreciate this. And it is my very first YouTube Happy Mail. I'm very excited. And I feel very honored that you would spend the money to mail something to me from the UK that I told you not to send. <laughs> I thought after I told you not to send anything, you took me seriously, and then it showed up three days ago. <laughs> and I've been sitting on this secret for three days. I couldn't tell you during Carla's live today because I didn't want you to know that I had it and that I was going to do a YouTube video on it. So I had to kind of not talk to you a whole lot today so that you wouldn't suspect and I wouldn't let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> so anyway, this was just a very quick little um, Happy Mail video for something that is so delightful. I just love it. It's so cute. And it's all based on an idea of a squash book that Carla made from Cage Fish on YouTube. And then I made one. And now Debbie's made, I don't know, I know she's made at least two because I've seen this one and the one with the trains on it for her oldest grandson in on the Facebook page so I know she's done at least two or more little books are addictive they are so addictive I will um, put Carla's for cage fish I will put the um, tutorial on how to make this uh, down below in the you know how they do it on YouTube everybody does it like down below <laughs> on the on the description in the description box so that you can link to it if you're interested in making one of these these are so doggone cute and they're very simple to make it is not rocket science believe you me I would not be making it I'm telling you that flipping photo block about finished me off <laughs> so um this um this is wonderful, and it's a lovely gift. You could give this to anybody for a gift. That would be a cute little gift. Could have gone in someone's Easter basket or, I don't know, how about you do your grandkids or something your grandchild loves on the book, like what she did with uh, trains for her grandson. This has so many possibilities, not even funny. So, again, thank you, Debbie Cork. I really appreciate it.